so now chandrayaan 3 has reached the most critical juncture of you know its entire mission which started on july 14th and from there you know it went around earth for a few days and then on its way you know the trans lunar insertion which took 5 days and then the lunar orbit insertion and from there to separation of vikram and pragyan the landing module now let's get into what will happen uh, when the power descent actually starts the landing as of today is uh, touchdown is expected at 604 pm but there's a whole lot of activity that vikram and the landing module will have to do by the time uh, it achieves the touchdown so i've tried to do a small sketch i don't know if uh, this is going to be really useful if people can see so see this is where uh, you know uh, vikram would be this is about 25 kilometers from the lunar surface so from here you know it has to get here so when it's at uh, 25 kilometers its uh, velocity is likely to be more than 1600 meters per second and from there when it reaches uh, you know the 10 meter mark it has to be reduced to about 1 meter per second and that is nearly you know a thousand time difference that is an extremely challenging thing to reduce velocity the other thing is that if you see the orientation of the spacecraft i don't know if my writing or diagram skills are too good uh, if you see here it would it it would be uh, horizontal and from there progressively it has to become uh, vertical it keeps changing its orientation and it comes here this is about 800 meters where it will hover for a while okay. about uh, 10 to 20 seconds it will hover there that altitude will be managed and from there it will come down to 150 meters where the second hovering will happen okay. and here vikram based on the landing hazard camera that it has it will detect whether you know the landing site here is conducive for landing or whether it's filled with boulders and craters where landing might be difficult yeah, yeah. if it's conducive for landing it will carry on straight and uh, if it's not then it will change its landing site it will pick another site and move ahead and then finally make the descent okay. so this whole change in orientation and the control thing to reach a velocity of 1 uh, meter per second by the time it reaches an altitude of 10 uh, meters mm -hmm. that will be a very very crucial uh, challenging uh, task that vikram will perform and you know with uh, chandrayaan 2 this is around where uh, it's somewhere around you know here uh, when it was slightly 2 kilometers away that's where uh, you know vikram uh, lost its orientation and a lot of errors started earlier that were accumulated all played out at the same time and it was too close yeah. to the moon for it to uh, uh, you know do a safe landing but this time a lot of those preparations that isro has done before the launch in building vikram should uh, ensure a smooth and uh, safe soft landing so the whole of isro is hoping for that and i think uh, the whole of india and a lot of other countries also are hoping that chandrayaan 3 succeeds from breaking news detailed analysis in depth interviews and explainers follow the times of india subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest